Hi friends, today we are talking all things full moon chores. So these are chores you can do on or around the full moon to help align with the energy of the full moon and also trick your cute little brain to actually doing these chores that I guarantee it's been a minute since you've done them. So if you're new here, I did a video about this for the new moon as well. So if you're watching this and it's not a full moon, you can check that one out. But these are ways that I have tricked my little ADHD squiggly brain into actually cleaning my house. <laughs> and so we're gonna dive right in. So you might be wondering, why are we doing chores around the full moon? The reason for that is because the full moon energetically is this time of release. It's really a time of clearing out the clutter. Think of like, if your plate is full at a buffet, you don't have any room for dessert. You have to remove what's on your plate in order to fill it up more. So when you're manifesting or you're, when you're trying to create something in your life, you have to create that space so that you can call it in. And that's what the full moon is asking us. And so how we do that in our environment can start to shift us energetically into doing that into the rest of our lives. So if you are someone who is into manifestation rituals, you may have heard of like release rituals, like writing down what you want to get rid of and then burning it under the full moon. Those are great too, but I'm a big fan of, you know, two birds, one stone, let's clean our house, let's motivate ourselves to do something that actually makes us feel energetically better in our space, and at the same time is helping with that release inside and outside. So some of my favorite full moon ritual chores are the types of chores that you don't necessarily do every week, but it's helpful to do every month. Because something you can think about is, when energy is in our space, it sort of creates a, a film around anything that isn't like moving or shifting around. So think about how pollen settles on, you know, your desk in the springtime. Energy also settles as well. So anytime you are dusting, anytime you are cleaning, anytime you are sweeping, you're mopping, you're moving that energy around, you're releasing that energy to create space for new. The best example I have of this is your shower curtain liner. You know if you don't clean that thing, it starts to grow mildew, grow mold, and you can think of that as the energy buildup as well. So one of my favorite full moon rituals is to actually just wash my shower curtain and wash my shower curtain liner. It's really easy to remember to do because it's the full moon. Oh, when was the last time I cleaned that thing? Last full moon. Toss it in the washer. Similarly, your duvet cover or any sort of like pillows that you don't wash like every week on your bed. You know, if you have throw pillows on your couch that have covers, washing those with the full moon are another great way to clear that energy before it starts to build up. And it's one that you will start to notice the difference on when you're taking your shower, taking your bath and noticing, huh, I haven't had to buy a new shower curtain in like six months because this one is still working for me. So similar to that, different chores that you might not do every week, but maybe want to do once a month could be like cleaning underneath the couch, vacuuming underneath the cushions, uh, you know, cleaning the baseboards, if that's a thing that you're into, washing the windows. I don't know how often you're supposed to do that. I've never done it in my house, so maybe this full moon will be the time. <laughs> but any of those chores that you have a hard time remembering when to do them, when you last did them, is a great opportunity to create a full moon ritual. Sometimes I will even bring my plants into this and the plants that don't need to be watered that often, I'll just water them on the full moon. And then I know, hey, this plant got water on the full moon. So that was the last time it got water. So if it starts to die faster, I know it needs to be a new moon ritual as well. The other thing that you can think about is anywhere in your space that feels really heavy or stagnant, right? So I'm talking about like if every time you sit on your couch and watch TV, you notice your TV console is just like overflowing with stuff and it's driving you nuts. Or whenever you're going to uh, make something in the kitchen, you notice like that one drawer you can never find anything in. Those are all perfect opportunities for energy to get stuck, for it to collect, and also for you to like not have the space to do what you want to do, right? To relax on the couch and watch TV or find that one spatula that is your favorite so that you can flip your pancakes or whatever. And so taking those areas where you feel that energy is more stuck or stagnant and decluttering them or deep cleaning them, great full moon ritual. You are, you are going to thank me. If you pick just one, just one this month, 
do it. Let me know how it feels down below. And finally, if you don't already do this on a regular basis, the full moon is a great opportunity to do a deep energetic cleanse of your space. Now I'm a big believer that when we're physically cleaning, we're also energetically cleaning because it's, it's all the same really, <laughs> but it is helpful to take some intentional time to do an energetic cleanse, to really tune into how the energy in your space feels and start to move some of that energy out. There's lots of ways you can do this. We have a whole podcast episode about it, but if you're looking for one that you can do from your couch right now, I just did a video meditation that will take you through how to use your own energy to clear the energy in your space and in yourself. So you can watch that one next. So I hope that helps motivate you to not only connect with the full moon's energy, but also clean your house. I know it helps me. <laughs> and a reminder that the energy that we experience in us is reflected in our environment and vice versa. So by doing this cleanse of your space, you are also creating space within to welcome your manifestation in. So let me know in the comments below what chore you are doing with the full moon and uh, make sure you subscribe for more. Bye.